Hi! Um, today I am going back to my roots a little bit, and I am making over one of my very old sims that I made back in 2017, I think? Um, so this is Ambrose. Uh, she was a character who was made in Sims 3, uh, inspired by Coleco's um, humanized robot character whose name escapes me right now, but I'll put it on the screen when I get- when I, uh, remember it later. Um, but basically, she was a robot who was given a human form, uh, and in story, people were not happy about this, and so she was kind of used as an experiment for, uh, going through a time machine and got stuck in the past. Bad stuff happened, she went forward to the future, Bad stuff happened. <laughs> um, basically, she kind of... I wrote a whole story about this. It's on my original Tumblr. Again, I'll post a link. Um, but spoilers. Uh, she basically takes over the future, uh, pretty much eradicates human life, um, essentially just causes like this apocalypse in the future. Um, and so I kind of, I really love that story. I never got to finish it. Um, it makes me sad to this day that I never got to finish it. And I'm always hoping we'll get a Sims 4 future pack just so I can attempt, at the very least, to redo it. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> um, she is a well-loved character who has a... Very well thought out backstory, um, and a lot of character growth. She goes from being this very naive, uh, trusting, maternal character, um, whose views kind of get warped and skewed, and she just becomes this monster, really, this, like, person who will go out of her way to do exactly what she needs in order to have her and her kind survive. Um, and I love that for her, like, go off bestie. But, um, yeah, I love her. And so she is the first of my sims who I decided I'm going to make over this time, uh, since I have a lot. Um... And so, I'm currently going through and I'm just trying to figure out a hair for the poor thing, because you never know. I have a lot of hairs, and I had... She had this very kind of iconic baby face design initially. Um, so, I did kind of go with this hair for like the longest while, and then I changed it like near the end. But... I kind of wanted to make her look like a doll, and I realized after the effect, after the fact that I never actually gave her the uh, ball jointed uh, like doll uh, skin add-ons that I actually downloaded for this sim. Um, so I'll probably go back in and work on those another time, or just add those in later. But one of the things I really wanted to do with this sim. Um, is I have been doing renders for the longest while, and I love doing renders. Um, but I've had this idea for a render since I started making them, where it's basically a, um, like a toy doll box, basically. Uh, and there were a few out there, like Barbie ones, but I want to try making my own. Um, and the idea for this render is basically that... You know how Barbie dolls are held into the boxes, um, like with little zip ties around their waists, um, and hands and stuff, like, like, like they try to escape. Um, I want to do one where she is actively trying to escape from the box, so she's like trying to pull herself out of the zip tie around her waist, and she's like got accessories around her and stuff like that. And that's kind of the goal. Um, my almost my end goal for, uh, doing renders. Because I'd have to design, um, the box from scratch. I'd have to do all the graphics for it. Um, I have to figure out transparency. I have to 
make the zip tie things because they would be really hard to do. Um, and that's stuff I'm not very skilled in. Um, I'm learning, but I'm not exactly skilled in it. And so that's something I would really, really love to uh, figure out and to do. And I am probably going to record myself working on it as I do it in the hopes that if I can't, like, if I make mistakes, I can teach other people as I do it. Um, I would definitely, like, upload the box when I was done. Um, I'd hope to make it customizable for other things, because I've had, like, other dolls that I wanted to create with the render. Um, and so... I would upload it on my Tumblr, where I've uploaded all my other Blender scenes that I've made. Um, but ideally, that is the end goal with this sim. Uh, so I'm going to bring back this series where I make over all my old sims. Because um, I have a ridiculous... A ridiculous number of old sims who are just busted to all heck now because I've changed my palette or I'm missing their hair or their clothes or their skin details and so being able to remake these old sims and update them to my newer style is kind of the ideal really it shows how far I've grown from their initial point to the current point and it shows like how my style has changed and how I've either become a little bit more realistic or a little bit more cartoony and how things are just changing effectively. And I think <laughs> we are very close to actually finishing her face, which means we're about halfway through this video. <laughs> um, so I give her a body style. I went to the tattoos, realized that I have a mod in uh, so I skipped straight to regular clothes, uh, cut that scene out because you'd be able to see boobies and I don't want to be demonetized, even though I'm not even monetized yet. Um, and yeah, we'll just kind of make her look like a really cute doll. Um, definitely more like ball jointed doll style, so not big head, big eyes, but sort of like smaller, more realistic proportions. Um, so I was trying to make sure her head wasn't too big for her body, so I ended up making her really tall. But it kind of works out. Um, and it takes me a little while to figure out what, what hair to give her, or what clothes to give her. I give her, in the end, a dress by, uh, by Miko CC. Um, one of their newer ones, I believe. It's very, very pretty. And I saw it, and I just instantly loved it. It, like, worked straight away for her. Um, I was very tempted not to give her shoes at all, but I did. Um, she's getting nails uh, from Jollybean's new set. And uh, her hair, I believe, in the end, I pick a Samandi one instead. So I think we're just about actually at the dress, which means we're getting close to this. So I've basically told you everything, the stuff. Um, if you watch my Minecraft videos, um, you'll have noticed that the last one is tight. It has a final video at the end, and that's because all my video files corrupted when I was transferring them across to a new hard drive. So I lost everything, and I'm very unhappy about that. So, we're going to be starting a new series on when 119 comes out. Uh, hopefully when at least one of my regular mods comes out. Um, but, there's the dress. <laughs> but yeah, so, I'm hoping to get more Sims out, hoping to get a little bit of uh, Mi Minecraft out, do the things, post a little bit more regularly, still saving up for a new computer, have saved zero dollars which is very unfortunate but that's how it is um just living life not getting the spicy cough very thankful um and yeah we're just finishing up here basically <laughs> i really it's been so long since i've done just 
time lapse making a sim audio talking over thing. So it's really hard for me to figure out what to talk about, and I got through everything I was actually going to talk about in the first two minutes of the video. So I've had to just talk about nothing for the entire rest of the video, and it's been very awkward for me. Um, but I hope that that shows any of you who are trying or wanting to do videos that you don't really need to have a set plan. It's a good idea to have a script, but you don't want to just stick to a script the entire video. You want to have some freestyling, you want to do what you want, you want to have fun. Um, and I've had fun making her. I've had fun making her over, making her look... Not even remotely how she used to look. And yet... Kind of exactly how she was, I guess, supposed to look uh, in her naive times before everything happened. And maybe eventually I'll do a makeover where she looks like her angry self. But for now, we get innocent Ambrose, who nothing bad has happened to yet. And we hope nothing bad ever does happen to her. Ah, <sighs> alright. Going through our last few hair hairs here, so I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna wrap it up before the dogs actually start going off real hard out there. Um, so enjoy the last few minutes of this video. Uh, don't forget to take your meds, drink some water, eat some food. Uh, remember that no matter what happens, this is a safe space. You are always welcome. Uh, and tune in next time um, when I make over another sim or we start Minecraft. Whatever comes first. Alright. You have a great day, um, and yeah, thank you for watching. <laughs> Bye!